Okay, good evening everyone. Sorry a little, a little delayed, but I am Clark Key for the Village of Dalton. And in the absence of the mayor, I will be hosting this meeting tonight. And tonight I want to appoint our leading trustee. Tr okay. Okay, I would like to ask for a motion to a ask for a mayor pro, pro temp. I make a motion to have uh, Trustee Jason House as Mayor Pro Temp. Okay, very good. So I will now do the roll call. Trustee Steve? Present. Trustee Norwood? Present. Trustee Belcher? Present. Here. Trustee Holmes? Absent. Trustee Brown? Present. And Trustee House? Right. We have a quorum, and I will just back up for a second. This meeting is at 6.06 p.m. Okay, we did the roll call, so thanks everybody for coming this evening uh, to housekeeping items. I don't want to say housekeeping, but we will start with our Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, normally, we'll be to the flag, so I'll ask that we face in the direction of the building where we have a pledge of All right, so I'll ask everybody face in the direction of the flag. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we'll take a moment just to have a moment of prayer. So, Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for covering us in all situations and in, all, in our community. We ask that you embrace us even closer on this day so that we can continue to do the, the work of the village of Dalton and that this be a successful meeting. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. So I see everybody have a, take, take a seat. Okay, so just a few points of clarity that I want to make around this because there there is um, there may be some contesting of the way that the meeting was uh, called or handled. So we want to make sure that we know uh, this meeting was called by a request of five trustees. So I made the request on Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon between 12 and 1 p.m. And it was also approved by the four other trustees. Just for confirmation, I'll ask each trustee if they made the approval before 6 p.m. on Tuesday. Uh, Trustee Norwood. So it was called by five trustees. The meeting notice, which is no longer on the door, has been posted between about 550. It was it was videotaped and a photo was taken as well. And it was posted by trustees Belcher and trustee Norwood. So just for confirmation, am I stating this accurately? Yes, uh, trustee Belcher and I. Yes, both of us uh, posted the meeting. And just having that, so we want to make sure we have that on the record. We have one item for discussion, and that item being the discussion and possible action of approval of ordinance number 21-009, the hiring of legislative council. I would ask that I get a motion to approve uh, legislative council, which is present with us. The document was included with your packet that Clerk Key sent out, um, and attorney Mike McGrath is here present with us at this time which is the legislative council that we seek to approve. I would ask that a motion be made that we approve ordinance number 21-009. Uh, motion. I second. Okay, hearing the motion and the second, I will ask do we have any discussion from the board of trustees? Yes. Um, in reference to us being here this evening, uh, I think, and I don't want to speak for everyone, but we all collectively um, have realized that we need to do what's in the best interest of the village of Dalton and move things forward, but moving forward in the right way. And so with that being said, um, there has been some concerns about uh, legal counsel that we currently have as the village attorney, and uh, we can't get things 
uh, answered properly or there are some ordinances that are currently in effect that are being um, neglected or not being adhered to and we need to seek counsel on uh, for the best interest of the trustees. That's why we're um, right here today. I'm going to pass on uh, Trustee Steve. I just want to mention that, you know, there was some discussion with a few residents about the, the cost of it. What we have in the line, in the budget, set aside a cost for legal costs. So there's money in the budget for this. So there's legal costs, it's not assigned to any, any uh, specific law, law firm, but there's money in the budget for this. So there's not even concern about budget constraints. We've actually looked over this and we actually got that covered. So just to make, make them, uh, people aware of that, so to make people aware that, that if you have that concern, uh, we definitely took that in consideration before we did this, before we made this decision. Okay, thank you for that, Trustee Steve. I'm, I'll piggyback some on um, Trustee Steve's comments. Uh, and within the budget, we do have, uh, we have $400,000 allocated to legal funds. Uh, that legal funds covers all services within the village of Dalton's legal and as trustees We are entitled to have to speak with an attorney We can speak with the attorney that has that we already have on staff or if we feel more comfortable We can retain our own attorney it all comes out comes out of the same budgeted line item More than that the retainer agreement that was provided to the board is a is an hourly rate of $175 that we were able to negotiate with the, with this firm the current legal, the current rate that we are getting is $200, is a little bit more than $200 per hour for the services that we get. Uh, that is not a knock on the two firms that we have or anything. It's just the reality that we are entitled to legal representation and in considering doing this, we negotiated a price that would be beneficial to the residents of the village of Uh Separate from that, uh, this move here, a lot of people, well, some people would say it's divisive. Of course, the board, we feel that, well, I feel it's it's time. And everybody asks us that we need to go about things different. We want to do something different. Well, we've seen in the past how meetings have gone into back and forth and arguing. And our board has tried as hard as we can to talk behind the scenes uh, to the frustration, I would say, to some, uh, to some residents. Uh, but we wanted to try to do things. Uh, we've had mediators come in to try to do it, and those ways have not been working. So we're seeking legal counsel at this time because we feel that the law has carved out who has authority to make which decisions, and we want to enforce the decisions that the board has uh, has access to. So that's what we want this counsel at this time. But having said that, if there are any further comments, hearing none, I'll ask Clerk Hugh if you can call the roll, please. Trustee Steve? Aye. Trustee Norwood? Aye. Trustee Belcher? Aye. Trustee Holmes is absent. Trustee Brown? Aye. And Trustee House? Aye. We have six votes, five, five yeas, yeas, one absent. This has passed. Okay, last but not least on our on our uh, agenda, we do have public comments. We will be taking we will be taking questions and comments from any resident that would like to speak or give their feelings on this on this matter or anything at this time. I will see what the well this court I don't know how far the court will stand. I think we'll ask any resident that would like to make a comment. I'll stand on the side of Trustee Steve with the microphone and if you would like to make your comments, please feel free to come one at one at a time if we may just so we're not standing unnecessarily. $85 a year. 
But then when they had their regular board meeting, the board passed that it would be increased to $200. And I don't think it's fair to the landlords to even pass this uh, increase without discussing it with the landlord. So I'm here tonight to ask the board to please put it back on the agenda, bring it back, give the uh, landlords an opportunity to agree or not to agree. But $200, that's over a 100% increase. And I do realize the cost of living, it goes up, but not a 100% plus. So I'm asking the board, if you put it back on the agenda, bring it back up because $200 is too much. I did confirm with uh, Sharon Harris last night that it was going to be $200. I did confirm with Dalton Mayor that it was $200. It's going to be. And the mayor told me that $200 was nothing because she was a landlord. I feel that we as landlords out here Dalton, it is a lot to us. And we don't mind paying an increase, but not a hundred plus increase. So thank you very much for sharing. Uh Trustee Norwood have a response. Yeah, this open form. we have a legal counsel also so that we can get the proper committees so that we can handle it the appropriate way so that we can be transparent and when we make decisions regarding housing speak with the residents and make a decision so just so you know we didn't personally uh, vote the board of trustees we didn't vote you yes you did vote wait a minute it, it was voted but there was no amount attached to that vote that's what it was i was going to say it was that's what it was there was no amount yes. So, because I'm going to say, I didn't vote on $200 no, increase. No. That's at the time, yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's going to be the uh, inspection now. It's going to be $200. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the mayor has has instructed the police department to give additional bills. Place one of the officers that would normally be on the street in front of their house, in which case that individual will be will be paying through their payroll, their salary. And if they were requested to do overtime specifically for this, then they'll get paid time and a half, in which case the taxpayers and the residents pay for that. Well, that's why our taxes are going to go up, too. Well, the comment was that's why our taxes are going to go up. Uh, we are fighting hard to make sure that our taxes do not go up. Huh? We, are, we will be fighting hard to make sure that our taxes do not go up. So that means that that money could go uh, to service something else in Dalton instead of protecting the whole block? Yes, ma'am. Then uh, you guys allow it. Uh, comment from the board. Um, uh, so the um, comment is that the board allows it, and I will disagree with that. We <laughs> allow it. Okay. Um, when we're notified, <coughs> we, act, we act on it, and anything that comes that's within the board's authority, we do not approve. We vote down. Now, I think you may see, may have seen at the other board meeting, the mayor said, you can approve it or not, I'm going to do it anyway. And that's the reason that we have our legal attorney here to advise and instruct us on what, they, what remedies the board can have to uh, prevent that. No, I believe the last mayor and the board, they vote, the board voted to take some of the privileges from the former mayor and it was approved, it was okay. So what's the difference with this mayor? You guys can't do that? So I'm so happy you came up here because that's why we're here. Um, even because you see when you stated about the $200, I'm like, I didn't vote for $200. So what, what's been happening is the amount wasn't, wasn't being displayed. So that's why the board is here saying, hey, we want transparency. We're okay with some of the decisions you may make if you talk to us or maybe bring it to us so that we can all figure it out together as opposed to leaving us blindsided like now and we say we increased it i didn't know that so that's why we're here that's why we have legal representation because that's where this is headed we're trying to have a voice and mr mcgrath is going to now be our voice to like you stated to defend um, the residents and to kind of stop some of the spending okay. well, congratulations to the board i wish you good luck I hope that you keep unity. I know you have unity with five of you guys, and the other one, I don't know. So you need to get him to get on board too, because you guys were voted in. And you were voted by the residents. They had faith in you that you guys would take care of the business and to do what's best for Dalton and Dalton residents. And the mayor cannot do anything to the trustees because you guys were voted in. So I just wish you guys good luck. Have a good four years. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you for thank coming you. And, and, and I'm certain you will continue to hold us accountable. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, I think next up I have uh, trustee mm -hmm. trustee stubs. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Trustees, Madam Clerk, Attorney, I can just cry because I'm so glad to I see you. <laughs> really. Uh, just to piggyback on that young lady right there. It was either June or July 22nd that the mayor stated that she would not do an increase on the landlords as far as the fees and um, the permits would not go up. And it's unfortunately that they didn't have the figures when you all voted. Can you please, please, please take another look? Our tax bills just came out. My taxes are now, I hope all of you all are sitting down and I only have a four unit and mind you, I live in one of the units. So I'm only collecting rent for three other units. My taxes are $19,123 to live in Dalton where I 
the police presence, I see it here protecting the mayor, but I don't see it on my block or on other blocks, and that's unfortunate, and we have to pick up the bill. Not only does she have it at her house, but you go to South Suburban College, where she have good burger, she have security on her there also. And I don't know if you could ask the chief, how do he assimilate who go where to protect her in addition to her bulletproof vest? And I'm just gonna keep it real with you guys and I've talked to all of you all. You know, what she's doing is worse than Riley Rogers have ever done. He looked like a Sunday school teacher compared to what she's doing to us. The lockouts, she have locked us out. That's why we out here The now. residents, and we have to sit out here, but we can come to her meeting yesterday, and these are mandatory meetings that I've never heard of in my 63 years of living, that I have to come to a mandatory um, landlord meeting. I have to come to a mandatory residence meeting and I've never heard of such things in my life. And I'm asking you guys, and I'm, I'm praying for you every day. Once you establish what you need to establish, can you please bring back citizens address? Amen. Because that's taking our first amendment from us. And you all look, I'm just gonna say the word, but no offense, but you look stupid sitting up there while the residents are asking questions and nobody is answering the questions. Can you please bring that back? Can you take another look at that budget also? Uh, all she has been doing, the mayor, Tiffany Henry, that's really hard for me to say that. Um, she's having parties, and this is the Tiffany show. The young men that got locked up yesterday, that was deplorable because they have a right to assemble. They have a right to freedom of speech. And one of your police officers, and I'm gonna call him by his name, Lacey, stopped me on the street as I was walking because I couldn't park in here. I couldn't park in there because you're using our resources, our fire department, our police department to barricade the Tiffany show. And Lacey, approached me and asked me for ID and what was I doing until I took my mask off and he saw it was me. And that's unfortunate that any resident have to be treated like a common criminal in the village of Dalton where their taxes are sky high. Also, I'm looking for you all to do because it's costing the taxpayers money. Please look into along with your attorney. Please look into all of the pending cases because these guys that she have working for her that's supposed to be working for all of us, they're not. And they're just making their pocket fat, okay? So please, please look into all of those for me, please. I'm not gonna hog the mic because I could go on and on and on about what's been, how the residents of Dalton have been treated since she have been in office. And I have reached out to all of you all, including her, and she told me that, Stubbs, you know I don't talk to you. I'm a 21-year resident. You should be talking to me. And I thought that was a slap in the face just because I didn't vote for you. I still give you your respect as the mayor, and I deserve the same as a resident. But I thank you all, and I thank you all for coming out today, too. And God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much for those comments. I think I saw hands that Mr. Freeman. You good? <laughs> any, any further comment or question? I have one additional. I'm not a resident. Um, thank the trustees and the clerk for showing up tonight, doing what they should be doing. Um, I think you know that the mayor has no authority to cancel a meeting that you call. 
and I suggest you, you with your attorney draft up uh, uh, new ordinances number one that each trustee has issued a key or a key card to the building and that the ordinance state that when trustee meetings are called they shall be held in a regular meeting place uh, no matter if the mayor wants it there or not. Uh, it's ridiculous. Uh, and I hope the people that were arrested last night get a good lawyer and have some fat change to put in their pocket because they deserve it. Be arrested for standing there protesting something is ridiculous. Um, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you very much for your comments. I don't think I really need the mic. Did I use the evening after? Okay. Come on over. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, board. Um, I have a question about flock. When you all were having the meeting, thank God for modern technology, I was able to Google this company. And the first thing that came up was the Better Business um, Bureau. And they are not accredited. They have no information on them, no nothing. What are you all gonna do about that? Because we don't we don't know anything about these people. You can't go and do, or did you all get some background on them and you, you know about the other people that they have serviced? Was it okay? Yeah, it was presented about two I, months ago. And yet, so I remember the presentation, but when I looked them up, they have no references to go by. That's the problem. So um, when it first um, did come about, Flock is the name of the council, it's not the actual service, but when we got the packet, um, they did do a presentation for us. Um, they are in New Jersey. Uh, Harvey has some. It's about eight different places. So I am going to say I did my due diligence to look it up. But Flock is just a uh, metaphor name for the cameras. But the actual um, company is something. It's not Flock. It's, uh, do you have a copy of it? I don't have it. But it, we looked at it. We did look at it. It's like a third party company, but we did. Well, I would say I, I did I research it, and then yeah, yeah. when I, I contacted uh, the chief about it also, and so they, it was like a couple of recommendations before we actually made, well, I made the decision to vote for it. But I would say, based on what information that was given to us and the crime that we do have, I think that it will be beneficial um, for the community. And I based my vote on making sure that we get uh, adequate services that we need in addition to, since we do have a lack of police because they're sitting on Thompson Street. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, I, I will say that well, I, I did my due diligence to say. Are they driving by the South Suburban College or does she have the car to take to South Suburban College? <laughs> Thank you. 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 Driving herself in a vehicle, a Dalton vehicle, and not doing Dalton work. Oh, oh, one more question. How much are we paying to rent the space for the Dalton free grocery store slash food pantry? I just about that on Facebook. What? Oh, okay. It's a food pantry right there. there we go. It's Dalton Free, it's supposed to be Dalton Free, I'm sorry, grocery store. And it is, when she took the pictures, I'll share them with you. She took pictures with Troy, who is now the director at the Chicago, the Greater Chicago Food Depository. So when I looked at the pictures, and you can see the reflection in the glass, I saw it was the mall over there, because I saw the blue building right here across the street. So there is a free grocery store, the Dalton grocery store, over there, somewhere. When did you all approve that? Who's paying the rent on it? Is it free? Okay. So I'm actually happy that you asked all of those questions. Um, oh. and, and again, right? Oh. <laughs> this is why we're here. Uh, now, this is why. Trustee Smith. <laughs> Trustee Smith. This is why we're here, Trustee Smith. 
because we don't really know much until the warning list comes out. And that's why when we say to the residents, we're like, hey, you know, we're trying, we're trying, uh, we're trying to bring legal representation so that someone can stop um, some of the lack of transparency here. Because a lot of times with the board, we find out when you all do, or you all find out first, like now. Yeah. Are you all adding things to the agenda, or is it strictly the mayor? <laughs> it's the question. Uh, many items have been added, have been the mayor's. Uh, there have been maybe four or five that the trustees have added and one or two that the trustees have attempted to add it and the mayor has removed. I'm saying that right, Trustee Steve, not calling anybody else. Yep. <laughs> so, okay, um, I think it was when I was, when I sat on the board that we did this very thing to Riley and it's just, we, 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 we voted on it. So he would not be able to just do whatever he wanted to do because you're actually working for us. So shouldn't that still, attorney, hi, how are you? <laughs> if we voted on that years ago and it has not been amended, it should still be in effect. Yes. And that's it right there. Yeah, so, and, and, and there's two parts of what's going on. So uh, to your point, uh, we've researched that. Our clerk has done a great job every time we look for a uh, an ordinance, she I'm gets so it to sorry. us quickly, and clerk. And so, clerk, he has found the very ordinance that Trustee Smith voted on. <laughs> and, but, in all seriousness, that's again why we're here. There's the passing of the ordinance, and there's implementation. And up until this moment, we didn't feel that we had the tools needed, so that's why we have an attorney now to seek legal remedies when those things are not being followed. One last question. One last question. The entire board is here. Where is Trustee Andrew Holmes? Um, Stop being petty. That's my part right trustee, now. <laughs> trustee Holmes, the mayor, and all board members were given the same notice. They are included on the same emails as everybody else, and they make their own decisions on appearance or not appearance. Thank you. You all have a blessed night. Thank you, Trustee. Any further comments or questions? Hello. You know, I don't care about that. I get a name, rank, serial number, everything. I have been a resident for 40 years. And I have sat here through many administrations. Again, I commend this board that's sitting here that you all are stepping up to the plate and y'all want answers just like we as taxpayers and the residents want answers. But I posted something on the village website because as a 40-year resident and I deal with crime on my block on a regular basis, so I want to know where in the municipality codes for the village of Dalton and ordinances, does it state that a city mayor elected official can have their street blocked off on both ends and police that we are paying their salary for tying them up to guard a house and to transport them to their workplace? Because if she as a sitting official can do that, then I need two police officers in the valley stationed at one end of the block to protect me. Because I'm in danger every day that I walk out of my house. I know that she's not in danger. I know that there's been no threat that has warned uh, the street blocked off. Because the last time I checked, and I, I'm 65 years of age, and I've been a resident for 40 years in Dalton, that the President of the United States does not live in Dalton and the President of the United States only had their homes blocked off for national security. So I want to know what national security issue there is in the village of Dalton that warrants this sitting mayor to have her, her street blocked off. Secondly, I am in agreement that as I have been here for four years and I've watched the other 
trustees strip a mayor of their power when they are not doing what they're supposed to do. So unfortunately, because we hate to see things done like that, but you all are going to have to do some drastic measures in order for the things that You all ran on a ticket of transparency, communication, wanting to bring dogs into a new change. Well, the only changes that I have seen has been personal changes for somebody that's in leadership and has not been for the better of this village. To shut me, I'm, I'm speaking for me right now, to shut me as a taxpayer citizen out of this building that I pay taxes for because it does not belong to the mayor, and just like it does not belong to the trustees, but it belongs to me as a resident and a taxpayer. And to shut me out and not be able to come to a board meeting, I take offense. I should not be sitting in a parking lot for me because that's what this building is for. It is for me as a taxpayer, as a resident, to come into this building for a public hearing meeting, whether it's a monthly board meeting or a special meetings that are being called, but it is not to come into this parking lot, so I take offense of that. And I know it's not you all's doing, so I'm speaking to the person that I'm taking offense with. But I commend you all because you all are stepping up to the plate. You all were serious about what you ran on, transparency, communication, honesty, and integrity. And so, again, I commend you. But I do want to know where in the village ordinances and municipality codes that it warrants the mayor's street blocked off and police officers being tied up when they could be out serving the community and not being watched off and being paid a hefty salary. Because I can sit in my car and go guard somebody's house. So that's my question, and hopefully somebody will give me an answer to it. I would say, and from my perspective, it is not in the municipal code, so, uh, so I think I don't think that that's a valid uh, action that's being taken at the time. So being very legal for what they do. I will defer to the attorney, but we do have, we have hired an attorney to Is that illegal, decide. what they're doing? Because if it's so, then tomorrow morning I'll be calling my representation from the attorney general's office. Because if that's illegal, yes. then I want to stop to it. I will say, Minister White, he, he just, he's been hired for five minutes. So, you should be contacting the attorney general's office. Thank you very much. We didn't hear that. What was that? Uh, the answer was it's not authorized, so uh, you should contact the Attorney General's office. Okay. Seeing any additional questions? I don't need a mic, but where okay. are all the other uh, villages? Are there village halls open for meetings? Yes. Are we the only one? The question is, are other village halls open for meetings? Most are. I won't. I can't. I won't go out on a limb and say all are, but many, many uh, other municipalities are open. For me. I feel like we have been silent. A lot of senior citizens they don't know about computers and emailing. I think that is so disrespectful and so wrong. And just like I came to this meeting, I'm just able now. I had to go back home and get a, a chair. When she had her meeting, everybody was inside that building, and I don't think that's fair. I should have a seat in that building also. So, just for, for public, the, the statement being it's a disrespect to the residents to uh, have meetings uh, conveniently inside when the mayor wants to and when she does not uh, not have that. And, and, it's, and it's the wrong thing. I would say I, I, I believe everybody on the board would agree with that sentiment and we're working to uh, make the proper change. Thank you. I have a question. Uh, uh, Trustee Keith has a comment. I just want to say thank everyone for coming out today and I commend my fellow trustees for us uniting and doing this together. We all communicate, we all talk. There's not one leader among us. 
They they try to think there's one, oh, go to Jason, maybe Jason get them together. Or go to Ed, or go to Keanu. We have disagreements, and we work it out when, our, when we talk to each other. But I have to say, it's disappointing to be here because we didn't, I didn't see this happening like this. We've seen this for years. It's this, and it's, it's amazing how you complain about something and become the very person you complain Amen. about. Amen. So All right. for years, this mayor complained about a mayor being a dictator and doing this. Every meeting. Every meeting. Every meeting. And it turned around and become the same thing, even worse, times 10. So it's just disappointing that we're here. And I don't know what happens, me and the guy was talking, I don't know what happens when somebody gets in that position and that power just takes them to a place that you don't even recognize them anymore. Or maybe that's who they really were. So it's disappointing, but we're, I'm glad that we're here, we're united, and we're working together for the empowerment and the betterment of the town. Because we all live here, we all pay these high taxes, we just got our last tax bill. So we're, and they're all going, and they're going up. So we're working together to improve our power. We, I never want to get it, I never want to make it personal. This is not personal towards the man. This is about what's right and what's wrong for the town. And that's why I want to leave it at. Because when you when it becomes personal, then in the midst of that, you don't know who's who. You know, they, everybody, they look at the whole board and the mayor like they're crazy. And we witnessed that for years. So I'm just saying that to say that. I'm glad we're here. I'm glad we're coming together. I'm glad the clerk, clerk's here. And we're going to work together to improve this town. And we're going to, if, if you know, a lot of times I think people have been frustrated with us and say, what's taking out so long? Get your attorney. Take her power. Do this. And people told us before we got sworn in. Before they got sworn in, they do it. And what we all said, we want to give her a chance. We want to try to give her, because I think she deserved a chance. But now we don't. Stop that rally shit. shit. Nobody want to hear that motherfucker give her a chance shit. Damn. Okay. You know so, what the fuck time it is. Okay, so we're going to move forward. But that's Everybody where we're at. You that's where we're at. And we want to continue to grow you know and is. move this town forward. And, and by the grace yes, of God, we're going to keep yes, together. Ma'am. But don't let them pull you up for that bullshit. Thank you. Don't okay. talk that bullshit. Okay. Come on, and I say I Everybody saying shit to you. He knows the fuck I'm talking to. He knows what the fuck I'm here for. Okay, go ahead. All right. Good evening, everybody. You know what time it is. Y'all want to set it up? You got the right okay, motherfucker. Okay, excuse me. You got the right one. You got it. You got it. You need to call nine. You got the right person. You need to call nine. Hello, call whoever you want to call. Good evening, everyone. You better call Jesus. If you all could just ignore that for a moment till I finish my question. Jesus can't help some people. Um, I had to cover up my. Yeah, no, he bogus. I had to cover up my. Bogus. You on that rally? I'm on my way to work. You trying to push rally agenda? It's over with around here, Bill. Oh, yeah. You ain't know? Right. Ain't shit else happening around here for rally. It's over with. He fucked up the water bill and all the residents' money. So now you gonna try to defend? I've had my home for seven months. I'm. I just moved to Dalton. I was actually excited. Um, as of now, seeing the person that's the head, the head of Dalton, it's a shame. Um, my question it. was in regards to infrastructure, what is being done about that? Why it was flooded when it rained a couple of months ago? The water, you, could, you couldn't drive through it. My parents were actually at my house helping set my house up for me. I was at work. I just had to check my cameras and was like, oh, it's a nobody a chance. Um, I made a phone call like to that. a couple of trustees. They did come out. Problem. They did to see how fast the water was. It was extremely bad. I had to do video. And I just wanted to know what's going on with infrastructure. Rate. The cameras are nice. The new lights, the, the street, street lights the are nice. However, we have deeper issues, boat boat especially boat. when it comes to flooding. Boat for eight years. Because right. that can damage homes. This is and people can't resident. get to their houses. Or you, you have to walk stop. through flooded water you will to get to your home. So my question you is, that, uh, funny what's being done for infrastructure?
He don't want to disrespect you. you Why are. you ain't stopping? Why are. you ain't stopping? You seen your water bill for the last four years? That's what you should have stopped. You should have stopped paying. Pay? Huh? I pay three water bills. How many that ain't enough. That ain't enough. You don't pay any. But man, Grandma, I'm not here to talk to you, and I love my people, so I'm not going to. No, I don't mean to disrespect you, but at the end of the day, this is for him. This is for him. This is for him. This is for him. This is him. This is him. We supposed to be one of our Muslim brothers. That's how you out here showing how we get out. We don't work like that. We don't move like that. Brothers don't do that. Brothers don't act like that. Well, you acting like it. Brothers don't act like that. How you here to judge somebody? Same on you. You got what you looking for, pimp. It's showtime around here. You got to know it. No, shame you gotta on know you. it. Shame on you. you. It's showtime around here. You embarrassing to the community. You know what it is? No. Shame on you. I think y'all are busted up. It's yeah, illegal in the first place. No. It's illegal in the first you place. You ain't nobody to bust up. It's illegal in the first place. Now, you don't want the other side of people come out. Now. Ma'am, I would never disrespect you. I'm not talking to you. That's what you just you said. You disrespect me and I'm sitting right here. And I don't appreciate it. Okay, My own dog on children don't disrespect me. I'm not going to have somebody like I'm you coming along disrespecting me. You're full of it. Now, I'm here to see all you. your profanity and everything, that means you have a lack of uh, respect. respect. Hey, 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 guys. It's a setup. That's all. Let them sit up. 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 We all want to be your grandmama. And you coming up here acting as ass. Ass. Baby, that's what we set up. Ass. Regardless of a set up, this young man should have better sense to let somebody use him like this. You ain't seen nothing yet, Grandma. Is that a threat? It's not a threat. Well, you said it. I want to know if it's a threat. It's not a threat, Grandma. Because, see, you don't fear me. No, I don't fear you. I don't fear anybody. But shame on you. Now see what y'all need to do is call 911 here. Call them. Call 911. Call them. 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 Call Peace be with you. And hope you learn some respect. No,